what's going on and thanks for tuning into Legatum Gaming where everybody knows what day it is today it is the vendor reset day so like most weeks what I will do is I will go to all of the checkpoints all of the safe houses and of course start at the base now if you guys check the description below I will put timestamps just to make it a little easier for you guys to look at I'm gonna pick all the best weapons gears and mods just to make it a little easier all right so let's make a start if you guys check out the dark zone gear vendor at the base they have a pretty reasonable prototype firearms mod so it's 264 firearms and the health is 3140 Alright guys, at the special equipment vendor this week, they have one weapon and one piece of gear I want to show you. Now the first weapon is the M870. Now I do know a lot of people do have these, however the talents on it can be pretty reasonable. Now this will be for PvE related, so the first talent is Ferocious, the second talent is Capable, and of course the third talent is Deadly. My recommendation here is to take out Capable and put in Responsive. That way, with Ferocious you have extra damage for elite and named NPCs. With Responsive, you have extra damage if you're closer than 10 meters, I believe it is. And Deadly, uh, critical hit damage is increased. So it's all about the damage. And of course, when you're fighting NPCs and PvE, it will work really, really well. In addition, and the last bit up here is the second piece of gear I want to show you. Now, this is a rapid vest. Now, before you kind of turn off the video and think, what's this guy on about? Um, I know the armor is bad. It's 1,816. However, I am thinking of the optimization station, which is coming in 1.8. So, you know, every time you guys do check out my vendor reset videos, or at least any other vendor reset videos for that matter, always have in the back of your mind that the optimization station is coming in 1.8. It does increase all of your overall stats. So pretty much any bad piece of gear you, you have or you're going to get, the fact of the matter is you can turn it into anything god roll within reason. So, you know, there's a lot of things you can do or will be able to do in 1.8. However, let's carry on. So with the Rapid uh, Vest, it's 1,244 firearms, 16,477 health, that's a hell of a lot, 4% health on kill, and 47% ammo capacity. My recommendation here is to take out health on kill, and you guys could either put in here skill haste, or maybe critical hit damage would work pretty well. Nonetheless, a really nice Rapid Vest, so do check it out. At the Special Blueprints vendor this week, they have the classic RPK-74, Electronics Backpack and the Stamina Backpack Blueprint and the Compensator Blueprint. So as you guys can see, I can only see four here. Um, when, I see, I, when I say I can only see four, I mean only four good things to show you. I'm not going to be talking about the Gear Score 229. So actually, it's been kind of the same like this in the last couple of weeks, actually. Um, normally, there's two weapons here. So the one weapon I can show you is the classic RPK-74, and the second weapon, or what it will be, is I will show you shortly, just hang fire. In terms of the compensator blueprint, that's really nice. The one that's missing here, which is level 30 in addition, is probably something like a magazine or a scope. However, let's go check out what it might be. So in terms of the weapons, I normally only collect pretty reasonable blueprints, so you guys can see um, it will be, for sure, one of these. So it's either going to be an MG5, M870, MP7, the classic AK-47, the lightweight M4, surplus, the AUG, the military SA S8, or the Vector. It will be one of those guns for sure in terms of the blueprints. So that's what it will be. There will be those will be the two weapons. It will be one of the weapons I've just stated. And then of course, in addition, the RPK-74. As well as that, there will probably be a magazine or a scope down here um, in terms of a blueprint to get. So certainly do check out the special blueprints vendor. And then of course, if you guys don't have the blueprint, then if you wouldn't mind dropping a comment below just to let the others know, that would be greatly appreciated. At the Meat Locker this week, they have a really, really nice military RPK-74. So 15% damage to targets out of cover. It has competent, fierce, and adept. So three really, really nice talents here. The 15% um, damage to target out of cover is pretty much god roll there. So it's actually a really, really nice weapon to get. In terms of recommendations, I would actually probably stick with these. I'm sure the people will probably swap something out. So um, maybe if I was to swap anything out, it would probably be fierce here, maybe for deadly or something like that, responsive. Um, actually, scrap responsive, probably deadly maybe, but 
other than that the talents he's got are really good and i probably wouldn't make any changes at all so do certainly come over here head over to the meat locker and check out this weapon for a second they have a pretty reasonable extended magazine so it's not the best i've seen however for those people that are struggling it's pretty reasonable so 118.5 magazine size with four percent critical hit damage and 5.4 percent rate of fire so pretty nice magazine all in all for those people that are after one East 53rd offers you some pretty reasonable accomplished knee pads. Now, the armor is really nice on this 1666. However, a couple of stats aren't the best, but nonetheless, a pretty reasonable knee pads to get. So, again, I've said it before, you guys think of the optimization station coming in 1.8. Now, these of course are aimed at PVE. Now, let's make a start. The electronics are 1134 with a 3.5% enemy armor damage. And of course, the reason I picked these is it has damage to elites in the minor. Now the stat is 13%, but of course it can be made better, along with 31% burn resistance and 33% disorient resistance. Now my recommendation here, you guys can either increase the electronics or of course roll it to firearms. I wouldn't recommend putting it in stamina, however firearms and electronics would be the way to go. And then of course you could do that, and then as soon as the optimization station comes in you can increase all of the base stats just to make it a little bit easier. Nonetheless, a really nice pair of knee pads, or at least can be made to be really nice. Do check them out. Alright, East 46th checkpoint offers you some pretty good savage gloves. Now the armor is 974, it comes with 1244 firearms, with 4% health on kill, 8% skill haste, and 986 SMG damage. Now my recommendation would be to take out health on kill here, and put in probably critical hit damage. Now, critical hit damage works really well with an SMG. The only problem with this is, of course, they're bound to SMG. Or at least, you could take out the SMG and run with health on kill. It's entirely up to you. Nonetheless, a really nice pair of Savage Gloves. And think, again, I keep saying it, think Optimization Station. Your armor will increase. Your firearms will increase. Your skill haste will probably go up to 9%. You know, so there's a lot of things now we can actually put in these vendor resets. And we can think of the future of terms of 1.8. So these aren't too bad gloves at all, it's entirely up to you whether you want to take out health on kill and run with an SMG, or take out SMG and run with health on kill. The choice is entirely yours. In addition, they also have a really nice prototype performance mod in terms of a 4% sticky bomb damage. Do check it out! Easy 6 safe house offers you actually two pieces of gear which are pretty reasonable. Let's start with Tactician's Authority Vest. Now I know the armor is pretty bad at 1852, it comes with stamina at 1852. 1146, 9% skill haste, 15,000 health, and 52% ammo capacity. My recommendation here is, of course, to take out stamina and put it into electronics, which would work really well with tacticians. In addition to this, of course, if you guys think about the optimization station coming, then you guys can increase the armor and, of course, the health stat which comes with this. So don't worry too much at the minute if you guys think of the future 1.8. Now, I know classified is coming, however, tacticians isn't out just yet. Yeah, so for those people who can't wait and do want a pretty reasonable Tactician's Authority Vest, then do check this out. In addition, same with the Alpha Bridge Gloves, exact same. So Stamina, I would take out and put it onto Firearms. It comes with pretty reasonable stats already, so it comes with Assault Rifle Damage, 1300, 5% Critical Hit Chance, and 7% enemy armor damage. Now, armor's a little better here at 942, but again, optimization station's coming in 1.8, and for those people who didn't want to wait too long in terms of Alpha Bridge Classified, or at least don't have the good one yet, then do check these out. Alright guys, and we are in DZ9 Safe House. So for those people who do watch this each week, you all know what it means. It is the end of the weekly vendor reset. Now there is one more item I want to show you, however I wouldn't normally put it in. So it's the loud vent break. 17% critical hit damage, 2% accuracy, and 6% headshot damage. Now of course, it's something I wouldn't normally pull in as previously stated, however, I have to put something in on the last safe house. It's the law, it's the rules, it's what I live by. I hope you guys did enjoy this weekly vendor reset. Of course, if you did think I could improve it in any way, shape, or form, then don't hesitate to drop a comment and let me know. If you did like the video, then a like would be greatly appreciated, along with a subscribe. I guess if you guys did enjoy the video, I will all see you in the next one, and if you did want to contact me in the meantime, then I guess you can check out twitter.com forward slash legatum gaming and facebook.com forward slash legatum gaming. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.